Welcome back to Sprika. This time a mission to spend 24 hours in the mountains with three items only. This time I choose my silky saw, a cup and a lighter. But there is one catch and if you stay with me I will show you. Basically this video will be like surviving 24 hours with three items only. What I need to do is shelter, find water and light the fire for water purification and to stay warm during the night. So for me the first thing is always water but this time i'm going to make some shelter first nothing special just a simple shelter to protect me from the elements and predators this area is filled with packs of wolves in recent years they came down from the mountain into the villages and that's why i need shelter and fire so basically what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make myself just a simple primitive lean to shelter i'm gonna cut off a death standing tree and put that tree from that tree to that rock over there and then i'm gonna make myself a back wall and cover all that with pine needles and leaves and that's gonna be my shelter for the night in front of my shelter i will make myself a huge fire to keep those predators away and to stay warm during the night all right guys so the next step is we need to collect some material to make this shelter and already i can see a lot of death standing trees just behind you guys and laying on the ground which is great because that will save a lot of time so let me collect some material and then i will see you guys That should be enough for now there is plenty of material all over this forest but for now i think this is enough all right so now we need to make a basic frame and then i will add crossover branches and then i'm gonna cover all this with fine needles and leaves so yeah i think this one this one is long enough for my main beam. I need something what I can use for cordage and I don't like cut my shoelaces but I have a solution for that because this type of grass is perfect for cordage so I'm gonna collect some of this grass this is something like wines there you go See how strong it is? Come on! 
super strong. This will help me a lot. <clears throat> well, this one is old. All right. Ah. All right, the basic frame is done. And now I need to collect some uh, pine needles and leaves so I can cover all this on the back side. As you can see, there is not much room inside the shelter, but enough for me. I will make my fire somewhere over here, and that way I will stay warm all night. The only problem is I need to wake up every hour or so to keep that fire alive. But that's my only option i need that fire all night to stay warm and to keep those predators away from my campsite all right folks let me collect some of these pine needles and leaves so we can cover up this bad boy and this is firewood firewood fuel for my fire Punk wood, we don't need that. There you go. Oh, and I need to clear the ground inside my shelter. I will do that later because right now I'm gonna cover all this with these leaves, and some of those leaves will end up on the ground. All right, luckily, there is a lot of leaves already on the ground. The only problem is I don't have my gloves. So, I'm gonna use to collect some of these leaves there you go and you can imagine how many bugs there is in this leaf right now but who cares right Alright guys, I guess our shelter is done. So the next step is water. At this time of year, the mountains are covered with snow. And that means there is definitely water somewhere around. Alright, let's try to find some water. There must be some water up there. The mountains are covered with snow and today is a really, really warm day. 
So that snow is melting, which means that water needs to end up somewhere. And I truly believe somewhere up there. see a lot of signs of water unfortunately all this is dry so maybe I can climb this rock and scout that area up there I'm not sure maybe it's too risky to climb all these rocks but I guess that's the only way There you are. What did I tell you guys? There must be some water up here. And this small pool is perfectly clean. But I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna boil it first. Oh yeah. It's time to come back to my campsite. And it's not easy to descend these, these rocks without spilling all this all over the place. So I have no idea how I'm gonna take this cup safely and full to my campsite. On my way back to the camp, I keep seeing these snails. So I'm gonna collect a few of these. And this one looks dead. I'm not sure. Anyway, this is my food for tonight. Well, this cup is almost full of water. I didn't spill too much on my way down here. But there is one thing even better than this cup of water, and that is my dinner. I collected a bunch of these snails on my way down here. And these are edible, you can roast them, you can cook them, whatever. This time I'm gonna roast them on fire, which leads us to the last thing, and that is fire. At this point, I do have my shelter, water, and something to eat. The only thing I need is fire. And now things become a little more complicated. I said I have a lighter, but this lighter is empty. All right, so now let me show you my big lighter. I said that I'm gonna start a fire with an empty big lighter, and that is exactly what I'm gonna do. Just to prove it to you that this lighter is empty, I put a hole, so there is no gas inside this container. So now let me show you how to start a fire with an empty big lighter. All right, so I need something, <sighs> some base for my fire, and I'm gonna use this rock so I can prepare everything I need to get my fire going and then I'm gonna start the fire on this rock and then I'm gonna transfer this fire over here on the ground but for now I'm gonna use this rock to get my fire going so my big lighter is ready and I need one more thing and that is my silky saw So to start fire with an empty big lighter, obviously you need an empty big lighter, but you need also uh, some kind of a tool, knife, axe, or a saw. This time I'm gonna use my saw because I don't have a knife. And uh, basically all you need to do is, well, you know what? I'm not gonna talk too much. I'm gonna show you. All right, so there is no point on talking too much about all these things. 
So let me show you what you need to do. Basically, this big lighter is made out of plastic and with your saw, this is a 90 degree angle, you can use this saw or knife, whatever, to make these small shavings. So right now I'm gonna make a bunch of these shavings and then, and then I will show you the next step. Well, I guess that is enough. I don't need much because I need only a small flame to get my fire going. I do have dry grass that I collected on my way up here, so that will help me a lot. Basically, we need to create just a small flame so this grass can catch that flame. So now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna scrape that flint on this pile of shavings and then I'm gonna use this spark to light those flint shavings and this is a process so it takes time to scrape all this flint on this pile of shavings and really it takes time all right I think I have enough so there you go. At this point, I'm ready to get my fire going. So starting a fire, we all know that is a few step process. We need to collect firewood, we need to collect tinder, and we need some kind of a nest. At this time I'm gonna use this dry grass. Let me put that on the side. We don't need that anymore. All right, so at this point, I'm fully ready to get this fire going. I'm gonna use this empty lighter, this empty big lighter, to create a spark. Because this flint is still fully functional, even though this lighter is empty. The flint is functional, so I'm gonna create a spark. And these flint shavings will catch that spark and ignite. These shavings will start to burn, because this plastic is flammable. I'm gonna take my grass and transfer that flame into this grass and this grass will catch that flame and we have fire. Alright guys, I am ready, so let's get our fire going. And I need to be fast, alright? Alright, see that? See that? There you go. See? That happens super, super fast. So, right now we need to add this kindling to keep this fire alive. Super slowly. We need to keep this alive. There is no point to lose fire. All right, there you go. We don't need that anymore. So I'm gonna put that on the side. And then I'm gonna add all this tinder I have because I don't wanna lose this fire. There you go. Oh, such a great feeling to have fire. So I know this happens super, super fast and you probably didn't even see what is going on. So maybe I can make another video just to show you step by step how to start a fire with an empty big lighter. All right, so at this point, I have everything, everything I need. Shelter, water, food and fire. Now basically that is it. I need to put this water to boil so I can drink it. And I totally forgot my plastic carabiner. <sighs> Come on. All right. Ah, 
Ay, 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 ay. Woo! Super hot. Unfortunately, I don't have a gloves. There we go. Ah, same thing over and over again. I'm not surprised that I find water because I know there is some water, especially at winter time. But I'm really surprised that I found a lot of these snails. So I'm gonna put them right inside my fire. And now we wait. Usually I cook them in water but this time I don't have much water so I'm gonna save this water for drinking and I'm gonna roast these snails on fire honestly guys these taste like crap but I guess I don't have a choice they are much much better boiled in water with some olive oil and vinegar Maybe just a few more. Well, at least my water is fresh and safe to drink. So I'm gonna enjoy in this mountain water. I'm really disappointed with these snails. Usually they are very, very tasty. But I don't know what happened. Maybe I, maybe I overcooked them. I'm not sure. Definitely I overcooked this one and few that I left in fire. But that one was, I don't know. This one is not burned. It's not overcooked, but still tastes like crap. I don't know why. Super disappointed. Alright guys, as you can see it's almost completely dark and I have nothing more to do except sit next to my fire and enjoy. I need to keep this fire alive all night and that means I need to wake up every hour or so. And basically that's it guys. Now I'm gonna sneak inside, actually I'm gonna sit under this shelter and that is it. Alright folks. See you in the morning unless something happens during the night. Maybe some kind of a predator came inside my, my 
shelter and eat me even though I don't see a point of eating me because I'm all skin and bone 